Hey guys, what's up? It's Melko Zonky. So I have been doing testing with the Slayer Experience Rates, as a lot of you guys know, and uh, I have found what I believe to be the best ranging XP per hour in the game, regardless of whether you're on Slayer Task or not, even if you're not on Slayer Task. So for range training, a lot of people know about, uh, you know, camping water fiends, um, you can also do the Fight Cauldron, which is also very good range XP. Um, you can Cannon Dagonos, which is pretty good. Um, Fight Cauldron is about 380k range XP per hour. Cannon Dagonos is about 350k range XP per hour. Um, you can range in the Abyss, which I've heard is about 300k XP per hour. But what I have found is something that is 500k XP per hour. So to get this, it's not a very um, difficult method. It's just killing Water Fiends. Uh, however, you... I'm just killing water fiends with pretty much the maximum possible DPS except for Pernix armor um, and using overloads because I use extremes because I'm cheap. But uh, if you were to wear Pernix armor and use overloads, it would be even faster, potentially uh, closer to 530, maybe even 550k range XP per hour. Um, you can achieve rates like this even if not on Slayer Task. Um, of course, the requirements are pretty high. You need Ascension Crossbows and 99 Summoning and like 96 Herbal or 95 Prayer to get XP rates like this. But um, yeah, just killing Water Fiends is not high requirements, but getting really high XP rates like this is the highest requirement. So um, for anyone that's, I guess, going for XP after 99 range um, and has a lot of money to spend on gear, this is how I'd recommend doing it uh, because range isn't particularly particularly useful for bosses because most of the bosses that you kill with ascension crossbows such as uh, rise of the six for example isn't great xp per hour or cal fight king you can uh, range cal fight king it's not great xp per hour um, it's not really worth using range and slayer for the most part it, in most situations it's better to use magic and sometimes melee um, but it's mostly magic for slayer that you want to be using uh, so if you do tr plan on training skills past 99, where are you going to train your range? And this is the method that I would recommend doing. Of course, if you are 99, or if you're not 99 range yet, you can come here again with uh, lower level equipment. You just won't get as fast XP per hour. For example, you could switch out the Ascensions for a Royal Crossbow, um, switch out the Steel Titan for. I don't know how well lower level Titans hit, to be completely honest with you. The Steel Titan was buffed back in, I believe, late November, um, and it is quite good now. But I do not know if the lower level Titans were buffed as well, or if they're still pretty bad, so I couldn't tell you that for sure. Um, but you could always use uh, Unicorn or something for healing purposes. And uh, so basically, so I, how I do this is I just turn on Anguish and turn on Soul Split. I drink an Extreme Pot. And I attack the Water Fiends and just go ham and attack with the Titan as well. Um, and I really rarely notice people using Steel Titans. I don't know why, because, you know, look at that hits. <laughs> look at those hits right there. He just did 4,000 damage in, like, one hit. He just two hit that Water Fiend. So you really want to be using Steel Titan on this task if you have it, because it speeds it up so much. Um, there's a few other tasks I use Steel Titan on. Um, I use them on Spiritual Mages. I use them on Gargoyles. A uh, couple other tasks. It is a little bit annoying, but if you select your familiar options to attack, you can just click on that and then click on the Water Fiend, and it's not too bad. Um, and then you just you can put scrolls in your Slayer helmet, and he will use the Steel of Legends special attack, which is how he does most of his damage occasionally. And you can also just um, left right click your familiar options and click Cast Steel of Legends. And that thing, as long as you're not attacking a monster with high range defense. Um, Steel of Legends usually hits anywhere between three to 5,000, so it hits quite well. Um, so I would highly recommend using the Steel Titan as much as possible if you have it, because it really helps add to the DPS. I just see so many, so few people using them, and I'm not really sure why, because they're so good. Um, but anyway, yeah, for the most part, this guy two hits the Water Fiends. So one thing to keep in mind is with my testing, I got 484k range XP per hour. I only tested for 10 minutes. I wasn't here for an entire hour, but I just multiplied the range XP I got by four or by six, I mean, and I got 484,000. Um, so that's how I came up with this XP rate. I was just here. Um, another thing you want to use is the death swiftness ability. Uh, as soon as you have it, you just want to stand more in the middle here. As soon as you have maximum adrenaline, pop the death swiftness and you'll be doing much better damage as well. So um, those are all some tips to keep into account if you'd like to uh, train using this method. Um, so yeah, 484... 
thousand uh, range XP per hour is what I'm getting. One thing that you want to keep in mind though is I do pick up drops and I was picking up drops during my testing. Um, I tried not to but I my OCD won't really let me leave them on the ground so I do apologize for that. But if you're not picking up drops that really helps add to your uh, damage and you could easily achieve over 500,000 range XP per hour especially um, if you had Pernix armor or even at the least Armadil armor. Um, that would help add to your damage as well. So hopefully you guys found this interesting. If you don't have ascensions, obviously, it won't be this good. Um, but if you do have ascensions and you're looking to train range past 99, this is where I'd recommend to do it. You can get lots of charms for 200 mil summoning as well, which is always nice. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, new video coming out later today, so keep that in mind, and farewell, guys.